Well, hello and welcome to my last top 10 by country until my second half of year video push. Um, and this is an old video. I got this ready um, probably a month and a half ago, a few months ago. Of course, this was prior to Inui's win. Um, fantastic destructive win against Nanito Dene in the rematch. But we will go through the top 10, okay, as it was then. Inui's uh, place in my top 1000 will be unveiled in my new top 1000 at the start of next year. So in 10th place, okay, is Mitsunori Seki, okay, still um, a very respected name in Japanese boxing, Mitsunori Seki had 8 fights against champions in his career, and he had a total of 3 fights against Hall of Fame fighters. Now Seki, okay, comes in with a total of 5 world title fights, um, Seki also had a total of 4 unified title fights, so only one of those... Five title fights was not unified, and he comes in with a total of 16 fights against top 10 rated fighters overall. Now, Mitsunari Seki scored in his career, okay, a total of 35 knockouts. And as a rated fighter, okay, he was top 10 rated for a total of seven years. So quite a long time top 10 rated fighter. Mitsunari Seki, okay, was pound pound rated um, in my all-time pound pound rankings for zero years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Mitsunari Seki did um, have five fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Now, in terms of world titles, uh, Mitsunori Seki won zero world titles. Now, obviously, Mitsunori Seki was a multiple-time um, world title fight challenger. And obviously, if Seki um, had won a world title and maybe made some defences, he may have scored a little bit higher. Um, but he still does well, real again, um, into the top 10 in 10th place as a non-world champion. Um, but, you know, over the passage of time, I think other Japanese fighters um, will eventually knock him off that perch and knock him out of there. But... That can only be told, uh, like I said, with the passage of time. So, meanwhile, let's go on to the current number nine, okay, to Active Fighter, who at the weekend produced a two round demolition job, okay, on Nanito Donaire, following last year's potential fight of the year, probably my fight of the year, to be honest. Um, Naoya Inoue, okay, destroyed Donaire. Inu Inoue has had eight fights against world champions in his career, which obviously these stats will be a little bit different now. Uh, so, I'll update them live. He's had nine fights against world champions okay he's had zero fights against hall of famers but he knew it will get denaire added to the hall of fame um as if denaire doesn't join the hall of fame to me it's a james tony style scandalous injustice he knew he has now had 18 world title fights yeah, yeah i'll add it up as i go he's now had five unified title fights and he's now had double figures 10 fights against top 10 rated fighters he knew he has now scored i'm updating these figures on the Dene result he's had 20 knockouts now from his 23 wins and he has one of the most blistering knockout records in title fights um you can find in modern boxing over the last 10-12 years. Uh, he's also been top 10 rated for 9 years in his career. Inui has also been pound pound rated in my all-time rankings for 4 years. And he has had one fight against pound pound rated fighter. Well, now that is 2. Uh, Donair. And Inui has won now 6 world titles, not 5. So what I've done there is because this video was done before the Donair Inui rematch, I've updated the figures live for you. So 9 fights against champions, 18 title fights, 5 unified title fights, double figures against top 10s, six world titles etc etc now he knew he has time on his side um pretty much all of the fighters above him bar one coming next do not have time on their side i have no doubts he knew he's probably going to hit top three in this category maybe even challenge harada for number one in time who knows but meanwhile the number eight okay just ahead of Inui, okay is kazuto ioka now you know, we didn't we beat Ioka. I think that is a fantastic fight to hold at Bantamweight. You know, um, Ioka challenging for a fifth weight championship um, against Inui. I think, in, think Inui would win that fight, but it'd be a massive fight in Japan. Kazuta Ioka has had 11 fights against world champions. He has had zero fights against Hall of Famers. And Kazuta Ioka has a very non pretty much non-respected tally of 21 world title fights that's right this fantastic little japanese fighter has had over 20 world title fights he's had one unified title fight and he's had 13 fights against top 10 rated fighters now kazuta ioka has scored 15 knockouts in his career and he has been top 10 rated for a full decade at 10 years um ioka has been pound pound rated for one year in my all-time rankings and he has had two fights against pound for pound rated fighters kazuta ioka has also come in with a tally of five world titles now his next fight might be a stiff one but 
Uh, you know, Kazuta Ryoka, um, you know, like Inui, he's a multi-weight champion. He has a very tough little resume. He's won a whole number of world title belts and had over 20 world title fights. Um, so while Inui is closing in on him, uh, if Inui, if Ayoka can win his next fight or two, you know, he may be able to slow down the passing of Inui. But like I said, I think Inui is going to end up top three on this countdown in three or four years anyway, uh, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. Time is on his side unless something seriously disrupts Inui's career. He's headed straight for top three in this top ten, believe me. So let's go to the current number seven. He goes a bit underrated by you know many people, um, except the Japanese themselves. But when when I hear many people from the West talk about Japanese boxing, they never mention Koichi Wajima. Koichi Wajima had ten fights against world champions in his career. He also had a total of zero fights against Hall of Fame fighters. And Koichi Wajima had a total of thirteen world title fights. And impressively, nine of those world title fights, okay, were unified title fights. He fought. In the two belt era. So most of those fights were for the unified titles. He also comes in with a total of 11 fights against top 10 rated fighters. And Wajima scored 25 knockouts in his career. Now, Wajima was top 10 rated as a fighter for six years, and Koichi Wajima was pound for pound rated for zero years. And he did have Okay, one fight against a pound for pound rated fighter. And Koichi Wajima, also like Ayoka and like Inui, um, has certainly captured a lot of world titles in his career, winning five world titles, including repeat belts. I mean, that is quite impressive, um, but you never hear this guy talked about. Of course, he does have a video on my retired playlist, um, and you will see where Koichi Wajima places in my brand new 100 video top thousand coming at start of next year. Well, starting at start of next year, it could take three or four months to do. Uh, as it did last time, it took up quite a while. So Koichi Wajima, okay, is in number seven. Now there are um, some fantastic names on here of Japanese fighters who you never hear mentioned um, hardly by most people, okay, which is another advantage of doing these videos. My ratings are very different than anyone else's. Um, but I like them just the way they are. So on to number six. Okay, it's another uh, not often spoke of fighter, Yoshiaki Namata. Now, Yoshiaki Namata had a total of 10 fights against world champions. Um, Namata did have two fights against Hall of Fame fighters, and he comes in with a total of eight world title fights. Uh, Yoshiaki Namata had three unified title fights in total, and he had 14 fights, okay, against top 10 rated fighters. Namata also comes in. Um, having scored a total of 12 KOs in his career. So another fighter who is quite experienced fighting world champions and quite experienced at world title level, um, having a number of unified title fights from his overall world title fight total. Uh, as a contender, okay, as a rated fighter, he was top 10 rated for five years. Um, Namata was pound pound rated for zero years um, in my all-time rankings, but he did have... Um, four fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Now, Yoshiaki Namata um, won a total of three world titles. And that's one interesting thing about many of the fighters on this um, Japanese top 10 um, countdown. Many of them have won multiple world titles, you know, whether it's Koichi Wajima, um, you know, Ayoki Inui, um, now Namata. Many Japanese fighters have won many world titles. Of course, Mitsunori Seki was not a world champion, so he has zero, um, but was still a hell of a fighter himself in Japanese boxing. So many of these fighters um, often go unheralded, um, but they were fantastic fighters, many of them. So from number six, Yoshiaki Namata, we are now going on to number five. Now, he's one of the more, more well-known um, Japanese um, fighters when people speak of Japanese boxing as well as the few obvious ones um, it is Shoji Aguma Shoji Aguma had a large title fight record um, and a tough career he had 16 fights against world champions did Aguma um, and Shoji Aguma um, had a total of 3 fights against Hall of Fame fighters now Aguma um, comes in again with a large title fight record of 13 world title fights. He had a total of zero unified title fights. Um, and Shoji Aguma had 15 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Now, in terms of knockouts himself, okay, Aguma comes in with a total of 20 knockouts. And as a rated fighter, he was top 10 rated for five years in total. He was pound pound rated, um, actually, Shoji Aguma for zero years. And he did have three fights against pound pound rated fighters um, and Shoji Aguma won a total of two world titles 
So Shoji Agume is another fighter that Inui threatens. I am so impressed by Inui. I've always been impressed by Inui. Um, but the way he demolished him, don't know, like that. I know some people are talking about the Jose gloves and this and that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't the Jose gloves that won Inui the fight. It was the hard, blistering pinpoint punches that he landed on Donet's chin uh, and even horsehair gloves or not those punches were going to hurt they were sharp hooks on the inside uh, many of them in mid-range or on inside really powerful compact hooks and they were going to hurt anybody they landed on um, you know and I think Inuit is going to rise up this top 10 in the next few years like a wave so let us leave Shoji Aguma at number 5 I've praised Inuit enough now let us go on to number 4 to another very Unsung by many people, Japanese fighter Yoshio Shirai. Yoshio Shirai had a total of nine fights against world champions, um, and Shirai had three fights against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Shirai had a total of seven world title fights, and all of them um, were for the unified title. So he had seven unified title fights. And against top 10 rated fighters, okay, Yoshio Shirai comes in with a total of 12 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also scored a total of 18 knockouts in his career. So, um, this underrated fighter also was top 10 rated for four years. He also was pound for pound rated for zero years. And Yoshio Shirai had three fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Now, Yoshio Shirai closes out. He did win one world title um, in his career. A title that mattered more than most, uh, hence the unified. Um, so, Yoshio Shirai, okay, was a unified champion. Um, you know, for he was the unified champion. He had a number of fights um, for that unified title title and he mixed in very very good company um you know yoshio shirai does have a video i believe on my flyweight playlist uh, so yeah i've done so many videos and i'm getting so many blue screens ready um i've just finished the video for raul macias uh, good old raton um but you know i've got so many videos ready sometimes even i forget who's in them and who in, which is why i had to get the joe gans video done so i looked at my lightweight playlist and i thought Where's Joe Gans? Why is Joe Gans not on my lightweight playlist? At least I've got Langford and Greb, so it's not a total failure. Uh, but that's a partial failure. But anyway, number three. Okay, a Japanese fighter I rave about. Okay, Hiroyuki Ibihara. Um, one of the best of the best Japanese fighters in boxing history. Hiroyuki Ibihara had a total of nine fights against world champions in his career. Um, he had one fight against a Hall of Fame fighter. Now, Hiroyuki Ibihara had a total of six world title fights. He scored a total of two unified title fights. And against top 10 rated fighters, okay, Ibihara had 16 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He comes in also with a career total and one of the highest totals um, on this top 10 um, of 33 knockouts in his career. And Hiroyuki Ibihara, um, as a rated fighter himself, was top 10 rated for eight years, so just a few years shy of a decade. He was pound for pound rated, okay, for zero years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, um, he also has a lot of fights there compared to many on this top 10, having had six fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Hiroyuki closes out, okay, having won three world titles. To me, Hideyuki Ibihara had a tough career and was a fantastic fighter and to me is fully deserving of a top three place in pretty much anyone's top ten Japanese fighters of all time. Um, he, to me, is certainly one of the premier standouts in Japanese boxing, you know, as well as unsung heroes, you know, like Yoshiaki Namata, especially fighters like Yoshio Shirai, uh, fantastic fighters. So, from number three, Hiroyuki Ibihara, we have two places left, okay? Now, we're going to the second place, and I think he's a bit underrated, um, this fighter, you know, um, I think he's a bit underrated. Um, so, let us go to the number two now, um, and the number two is actually a fighter called Kuniaki Shibata, um, Kuniaki Shibata had a total of seven fights against world champions and Shibata had one fight against a Hall of Fame fighter. Now in terms of world title fights, Kuniaki Shibata had a total of 12 world title fights. He actually had zero unified title fights and he did have in his career 14 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Now Shibata scored a total of 25 knockouts in his career.
Now, Shibata himself, okay, um, was top 10 rated for a total of seven um, years in his career. And Kuniaki Shibata was pound for pound rated, okay? He was pound for pound rated um, for a total of two years. Um, Shibata also had five fights um, in his career against pound for pound rated fighters. And Kuniaki Shibata closes out his slide having won three world titles. So Kuniak Shibata to me is a bit underrated by many. In fact, many people mention Shirai Ibihara, the number one, who's been the number one ever since I've been doing Japanese top 10 videos. Um, I think Inui um, has a chance of chasing him, but I don't really think anyone else, unless people like Kenshiro and Hiroto Kaiguchi, um, you know, and these guys go on to do more. It's going to be hard. Or the fantastic um, Jun Junto Nakatani who's a fantastic puncher with those back left hands, those uppercuts. What a fantastic little fighter he is. We'll see what uh, Junto Nakatani can do. But, you know, it leaves the number one, and the number one is still the number one. I first did this video a few years ago, and it was number one. And he's maintained his number one. And even though Ioka and Inui and fighters like that are coming up, the fantastic fighting Harada still tops my top 10 Japanese fighters of all time for now at number one. Now, the fantastic uh, Mashioka fighting Harada had eight fights against world champions. Um, he had two fights against Hall of Famers. And fighting Harada had a total of 10 world title fights. Um, six of those um, were unified title fights. He was actually um, um, unified lineal champion at um, flyweight and bantamweight. Fantastic. Now, fighting Harada, okay, had 20 fights against top 10 rated fighters and he scored in his career um, a total of 22 knockouts now Harada was top 10 rated for a total of eight years he was pound for pound rated um, for a total of two years and fighting Harada had seven fights um, against pound for pound rated fighters in his career in total and um, the great Japanese fighter fighting Harada won three world titles so fighting Harada okay was also not only a fantastic little battler a real warrior um, fighting Harada also is the only man to beat the great Brazilian champion Edda Jofra um, you know in well over well in dozens of fights you know well over nearly 80 fights uh, Edda Jofra never lost the only two fights he lost to uh, were two I said he never lost he did lose but the only two fights he ever lost in his career I meant to say were against this fantastic Japanese fighter fighting Arada so to me fighting Arada is um, a complete fantastic number one that is now okay the last top 10 by country prior to my um, second part of year surge which starts on June the 1st uh, July the 1st sorry with the July pound pound rankings when that July pound pound rankings comes all the blue screens and other videos going to come of course I've got some more videos to do before then I'm getting others ready there'll be many more top 10s by country I've got about 10 ready already uh, coming after that point mixed in with other videos but there's my latest one for now the top 10 greatest Japanese of all time